back to my channel. This is Liesl, and today we are going to be making banana bread. <laughs> One of the staples in probably all of our homes growing up, and it's gluten-free, so you're not missing out anymore. So yeah, if you want to see how to make it super easy, just keep watching. Woo! Also, side note, I cut my hair. Just wanted to address the elephant in the room. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you guys today how I keep my bananas for a very, very long time because bananas go bad way too fast. And side note for all of you lazy people out there, the browner your bananas are, the better they are for banana bread. That's amazing, right? Yes. When my bananas are super brown, I'll take them out of the peels and put them in Ziploc bags and stick them in the freezer. And I date them for the date that I put them in the freezer. So I'll use the oldest first. So first in, first out. So it's really awesome. It's a great way to preserve your bananas so you have them when you need them. And since banana bread really isn't a whole lot of ingredients, pretty much all you ever need in addition to just dry ingredients is the bananas. So obviously you can't make banana bread with frozen bananas. So we're going to let these sit out for about an hour. They'll thaw pretty quickly. Uh, if you need to have them thawed right now, you can stick them in the microwave. Word of the wise, <laughs> keep the Ziploc bag pretty much sealed because as you defrost them, they get very mushy and like liquidy and gross <laughs> um, and it'll get all over the place. It's, so you can either open the bag and leave it in like a bowl or you can just keep it sealed completely on your counter and let them defrost. What we're going to do first is we have our bananas. I put three bananas in the bag as I showed you guys um, before and let them thaw. This time I just put it in the microwave because I wanted to get started because banana bread is so good. Um, and I have a pro tip for you guys. You can mash them up inside the bag so it's mess free and it's not as much work. Okay, so we're gonna take our three bananas. We're going to pour them into the bowl. And yes, it looks very disgusting. I acknowledge that. But I promise you, worth it. We have our quarter cup of butter, that's half of a stick, and we're going to melt this in the microwave. And in the meantime, we are going to crack our egg, and yes, I learned from last time <laughs> to keep my egg in a bowl and not the counter where it can, you know. Y'all saw the video, you know what happened. So we're gonna crack this into the bowl. We are also going to add one cup of sugar, and then we're going to add our butter once it's all melted. Okay, so here's our butter, it's all melted. This is a quarter of a cup. You're going to pour that on top of the bananas, okay? And then our one cup of sugar. This is what makes the banana bread not good for you. <laughs> uh, that's fine, that's fine, we like that. We don't like stuff that's good for us, okay. One cup. There are healthier recipes out there for healthy banana bread, but that is not what we are doing today. Now I'm gonna take my whisk. This is a really easy recipe because you don't even need a mixer of any kind. For your dry ingredients, you're gonna want one and a half cups of gluten-free all-purpose flour one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, and then about a cup to a cup and a half of chocolate chips, depending on how many you want in there. <laughs> so with baking soda, you really only want to have it for about six months, um, because that's about how long that it's actually active. So this one we are opening today, so six months from today, we'll throw it away that day. Okay, so we are going to add a cup and a half of gluten-free flour and then we'll add it the teaspoons of baking soda and the teaspoon of salt. I don't want to jinx it, but we haven't had any epic failures 
yet in this video, so we might be getting lucky. I don't know. We'll see. As I try to stab this open and <laughs> have the potential of it flying everywhere. Okay. We're going to take one teaspoon of baking soda. The nice thing about baking soda, I'll show you guys, um, is you can flatten it out against the flat side of the baking soda. So it's a little life hack, if you will. And we're going to plop that in there. And we're going to mix this up before we add the chocolate chips so that everything is nice and distributed. And then we'll add the chocolate chips. And in the meantime, we've been letting our oven preheat to 300 degrees. And we have sprayed, yep, there it goes. <laughs> There's the mess. <laughs> um, and we have sprayed our loaf pan. And the only bad thing about banana bread is that it has to cook for an hour. I know. Okay. Now we're gonna add our chocolate chips. And I'm gonna show you guys a pro tip for adding anything like this to a bakery good, like chocolate chips, if you're adding chopped up fruits. You want to mix it in a little bit of flour to coat it and then put it into your mixture and mix it up just slightly. And this will help it so they don't sink all to the bottom. So I'm going to get a bowl and I'm going to do that first. And we're going to add a cup and a half of chocolate chips. And this bag is about two cups, so we'll pretty much be using the whole bag. <laughs> stick it in for an hour or until the toothpick comes out clean so it could be less it could be more so just keep an eye on it and yeah that's it it's so easy right and some friends of mine <laughs> watched my videos they said they loved the part of me watching my stuff bake in the oven and so I figured you know what I'm not even gonna be ashamed because <laughs> I do it every time so I might as well film it here I am, watching my stuff bake <laughs> um, on my floor in my kitchen. 